Hey y'all, it's time to chit chat. Hey, it's time to chit chat. Hey, I know y'all think I know this stuff does not have an intro. No girl, I ain't got no intro. Let me get some water. So today we need to detangle my hair. Um, you know what would be a good business idea? If someone would create a mobile detangling or like a mobile natural hair detangling slash wash groom. You know how they have those mobile dog groomings? <laughs> <laughs> I need for someone to have a mobile detangling service. Yes, girl. You know, do like a little pre-poo in there. You can have specials. I would pay for that. I would y'all pay for that? Remember how when you were growing up, you would um have your cousins grease your head. You would sit there and they would grease it and y'all would chit chat. That would be so much fun. And maybe they could have like a um a wine service with. It. <laughs> I know you're thinking, okay, girl. Um. I dread detangling my hair, which is why I do it the day before wash day. So tomorrow I'm gonna to be washing all of this. This is now two and a half weeks old. With my hair, I'm one of those type of naturals, and I know there's some of you who are like this too. Um, if my hair is loose, and if after a while, it will actually start to almost dread up, especially if I've done a twist out or a twist. Can you see like, it, it will almost get like a dread effect, which is why Miss Erlette Pender, um, the master herself, said that, um, cause I, at one point I had questioned her about me possibly getting dreads. And she, she said, she mentioned, excuse me, that it will be easy for me to, I, I should say easier, not necessarily easy, but it will be easier for me cause one, my hair is long and the texture. But girl, we ain't doing dreads. I mean, I, I wanna do a perm rock set, so we ain't doing dreads. So anyway, I will be pre putting my hair today because tomorrow I will be washing my hair. So how y'all doing? I tried to call y'all the other day, but girl, I have put all my cameras up and I could only get two or three words out and I would start coughing. Y'all, I am in the middle of an asthmatic flare up and with me personally, I think it's because of the dust buildup in our house. You know what? Every now and then I'll get people asking me about living in Phoenix and especially when I see stuff in Facebook groups where, you know, people are from all around the US. And I'm like, oh, I'm thinking about moving my family to Phoenix. I'm like, you better be ready for the dust and for allergies. Um, allergies are crazy out here. Well, even once you out here, your allergies will be crazy. So anyway, and it will be dusty in your house. So we have um, wood blinds and we have hardwood floors. And it had been probably three months since I've really dusted my blinds. Now I do a quick one over with the little me, 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 you know, but the only way to really get the dust off the blinds is to do it by hand. And it took me two hours a couple of days ago to do it and then I had to a vacuum and then do the floors because the dust is going to settle to the floor okay and since i've done that my allergies have gotten a little better but yeah i tried to do a um what the hell but what's the tea y'all what's going on what is going on um so anyway y'all enough about that i know y'all don't really care about all of that but i wanted to talk about uh you know i kind of briefly brought up some of the beef old beef on youtube and i think who was that miss Teresa was like i don't understand how people even have time to get another people's beef girl or to even start beef girl youtube beef have been going around for a long time and i agree with you you wonder you know how the hell they have time for all this be creating skits and shit and getting wigs but <laughs> It can be, you'll be surprised at type of stuff that are spark beef. And it can be on all types of platforms. Y'all heard me mention, um, when was that, last year, there was some beef with the cooking YouTubers. And you, you have to ask yourself, what the hell do people who cooking, well, what do you have to beef about? Well, why, you have, why do you have drama? But there was drama with a very well-known, actually it was between, I think it was between three well-known cooking channels. I'm not gonna name drop this one out of respect for one of them. I believe she watches my videos because she's commented on a couple of them. I know she subscribed to me. So, yeah, hell, there was drama between the homeschooling YouTube. <laughs> The homeschooling YouTubers over just because they stay stop a certain type of curriculum, but it was based on a certain Christian denomination. And oh girl, yeah, they, they were going in. I'm like, 
just girl, just go to bed. Go fold some laundry. I now I don't read. I read the drama. And I'll look at a video or two. But after it goes back and forth, you know, you have about three or four rounds. I don't I don't have time for that. I'm with you, Teresa. Like, who has time for that? It becomes exhausting and, and it becomes like draining on YouTube. But I be on YouTube a lot. Mostly I don't I rarely watch a video from beginning to end. It has to be a vlog of someone that I really enjoy. Um, but oftentimes I'm coming on if I need to look up something real quick. So the other day I wanted to look up a recipe. I can't even remember what it was now. And girl, why did I find Jenny Jones on YouTube? <laughs> Jenny Jones, y'all remember Jenny Jones, the talk show host? Those of you who are not from the States, Jenny Jones is a well-known um, talk show host. She had this talk show, but it was always drama. Drama, the paternity test, um, I love my boyfriend, but he doesn't like black people when I'm black. <laughs> you know, crazy stuff like that. Now, she had to stop because there was a, what happened, y'all? <laughs> there was a show where a guy had oh, oh okay now I remember I remember I remember now then this was the 90s okay this was in the 90s there was one show where the guy had a crush on someone but he didn't know how to let them know he had a crush so he went on the Jenny Jones show Jenny Jones told this will always happen same thing with Ricky Lake the guy would, the person would come on, tell their story, and then Jenny Jones and Ricky Lake would say, okay, go in the back and we're gonna bring up so-and-so and let them know. So, brought off the guy, it was a guy. And, you know, Jenny's, Jenny's like, you know, we have this person on the show, and they're talking about how much they secret admire you and all this stuff, secret admire, excuse me. And so the guy comes out, and the person that, that was sitting there who was, you know, was in shock, he was, embarrassed he was totally embarrassed because the guy wasn't gay and it was his neighbor that had a crush on him don't you know that i believe if i remember correctly this man killed the gay guy he he murdered him because he was so embarrassed about coming onto this talk show now all his friends and family are seeing him on national tv and there's this gay guy that has a crush on him so that did her in i believe she even had to testify at the trial so anyway that's how her show got off the air you know but yeah, Jenny Jones has a cooking channel, girl. A cooking channel. She's a good cook. But look, catch this. She's in her 70s. Y'all, look look up Jenny Jones. I'm going I'm to link her video, her channel down below. She's 72 years old, I believe. And she looks good. That means that she had to have been what? In her 40s? When she had to show. And she didn't even look like that. I mean, she, she's mature, but she didn't look her age. So y'all, I'm going in between, like y'all care, I'm going in between <coughs> this comb, excuse me, this brush and the comb. Yeah, child, um, Jenny Jones has a channel now. Also subscribe to Will Smith. I always knew he had a channel. A lot of the celebrities are, you know, getting channels, which is smart because that's an additional stream of income. Come on, that is smart as hell to do that. Will Smith has a channel and he has quite a few views. I don't know, y'all, he comes off as, He's always been corny to me. I don't, you know, I didn't really care for his movie, but m music, excuse me, besides Summertime. Summer, summer, summertime, oh, summertime. Love that song, but all his other music, I'm like, no. He's just corny. He's corny as hell. Um, but he's very, as an actor, as a celebrity, he's very commercialized. I feel like, and this is not, a, I hope I don't offend anyone, I feel like he's that black person that can mesh well with other people because he's he doesn't come off as a quote unquote threat. You know what I mean? He's he's a safe black person. So, um, and that, that has worked for him and that has worked for his career. I think I've never heard Will Smith use any strong language. You know, he seems to be very neutral on some stuff, but on other stuff, you know, those kids, child, Lord have mercy. Y'all, those are some weird ass kids. I love them though. I like that type of weirdness to a certain degree. And I like, I like that they've allowed their children to find themselves, um, you know, it's not in your traditional way. And I know a lot of people, you know, kind of raise their eyebrows. But they're still children. You know, they, it's their kids. So anyway, yeah, Will Smith has a YouTube channel. Who is it? Candy has a YouTube channel. Um, Candy is <coughs> a reality star, singer, songwriter. Um, yeah, but a couple of them do. 
and I'll be watching sometimes, girl. Speaking of videos, in regards to videos on this channel, hair related videos, that is, I will be, um, I still have two more reviews coming. If y'all like these type of chit chat videos, I feel a little weird <laughs> doing them. Um, I can continue these like every week or every other week. And what else? I will have some uh, DIY videos coming up. I will be doing also a video on traveling with natural hair, which I've already started, and I will be blowing up my hair. You will kind of see some footage of that. That will basically be a part of the, the video, I should say. And of course, I will have some style tutorials, you guys, because I, I will be going somewhere, hopefully. Yeah, y'all, so that's what it's gonna be, you know, and I will come, come on and do a, you know, let you guys know what the regimen is gonna look like. And I will do a separate video on what products I'll be using throughout the year. Cause I already, girl, my cart, my Amazon cart is ready. She is ready, suited and booted. So, um, yeah, y'all. That's what's gonna be going on. So what else is going on, y'all? You know what? My birthday was, as y'all know, a couple of weeks ago on the 11th. Shout out to all the Leos and Oh, those of you coming up next, Lord. <laughs> um, so my question I was gonna ask y'all, well, let me back up. I will honestly have to say, turning 38 and nearing 40, at least for me, now I'm starting to feel old. I'm starting to feel old. Before, I was okay. I'm like, oh, 36, yeah, girl, 37 year. Yeah, whatever, girl. But now I'm starting to feel lit. I am... And I know you only as old as you think you are, act you are. And I know that it's all mentally for me, but yeah, I'm starting to feel old. You know, I'm, you know what else it is? <clears throat> you know how sometimes you fill out surveys or something and they have little age brackets? Well now I have to pick the age bracket that's 35 to like, you know, 40 something or 35 and over now that, Doing that the last few years, I'm like, oh, girl. But you know what? I'm welcoming it. I'm I'm trying to have the what mindset of, welcome getting older. You know, I don't have any wrinkles so far. Relatively healthy. I have no major issues. Um. So what what age did y'all feel old? Because I know I have some older subscribers. So what age do you think that you're like, oh girl, yes, I'm feeling old. I was talking to a cashier the other day and <laughs> she was saying how once you turn 30, 40, everything goes downhill. I'm like, dang girl, that, I have two more years. What are you talking about? So yeah, girl, no, 38 is, is still young, right? Is it still young, y'all? What do y'all, let me know, girl. What do you think? It's still young. Okay, let me put this hair out of my face. And I'm not going to be able to detangle all her on cam. Um, oof. That y'all, y'all, somebody, one of my, one of y'all need to come up with this idea I was talking about. A mobile detangling service. Hell, all the works, but mostly detangling. <laughs> Most, mostly detangling. I go to the store and, <coughs> where I go to? I went to the Dollar Tree and Walmart. They already got Halloween candy out. I worked so much. I'm just gonna start buying one bag a week. So that way I don't have to worry about it. And I know Jamie's gonna want my movie gonna decorate. Child, I'm gonna take my ass right over to Dollar Tree. Our budget, let me tell you something. I I'm not buying into this foolery. I'm really, I'm really not. And I'm giving him a deadline for all this stuff. Our budget for our Halloween is gonna be $20. That includes candy. $20, that is it. That includes candy, and that doesn't include his Halloween costume, which he wants to be a dang on. First of all, yeah, what is wrong with my child? What did he want it to be? He wanted to be something absolutely crazy. Now it's like, a, was it a red box machine? You know those red box DVD machines where you, <laughs> I don't know, it was something else. And I just look, I stared at my child like, what is wrong? I worked him down from that to, again, I can't remember what he wanted to be. I think it was a refrigerator. He wanted to be a refrigerator. <laughs> oh my God. My baby wanted to be a refrigerator. And I said, JB, first of all, we the only black, black people on this, on this block. Last year you were a washing machine. 
I'm not gonna have you as an appliance every damn year. You can't walk around with no damn cereal box on top of your head because you wanna be a refrigerator. No. So I, I worked him down from a refrigerator to a red box machine. Now he wants to be the Pac-Man, Pac-Man. But the Pac-Man arcade game. So y'all, I got boxes back there. <coughs> Spray paint ready to go. I have everything ready to go. I start early. We're, we're about to be in September next month. I start early because I design and create. I actually design it. I put everything out. I look at it. I design it. And so it's going to be, um, it's going to have some working parts, kind of, sort of. Um, I never want something that, I mean, I could easily get a, a box and cut it out in there. But no, we're going to. I got glow sticks and real knobs and all this. Yo, we're going to make it work. It's going to be cute. It's going to be cute. Um, I'm like, why can't you say you want to do something? Be Spider-Man, hell. But no, that's good. That, that, you know, my baby stands out, you know, when he's like that. It's so funny. Um, a couple of parents have told me, one, one parent in particular was like, Oh, JB, you know, my son said that JB is popular. Everybody knows JB. And uh, another another dad told me that, you know, JB seems to be the popular kid. I said, well, so yeah, y'all, nothing much going on. Getting ready for my trip to um, Texas. I got all my stuff, extra stuff, because this will be the first time that we flew as a family. Um, we've been flying, you know, separately, but all together, this will be the first time. And uh, I need to watch the time, y'all. Um, I wanted to make sure that we had, you know, everything together. Toiletries. And I bought JV some headphones yesterday. I mean, they came in yesterday. I got them from Amazon. And he's so grateful when we get him anything. But look, this is what he said. I got him. I gave it to him. He's like, oh, thank you, mama. Then he looks at him. He's like, hmm, they look expensive as hell. I said, JV, <laughs> laughing i said baby don't don't curse don't say that y'all he he says that because he hears me saying stuff like that so i'm like my husband my husband cracked up. it's been about 40 minutes at this point and i'm only i have quite a bit left to do with my hair so that is it y'all thank you so much for watching as always and look out for that tutorial not tutorial the product review i will more than likely at this point girl yeah i will post this before that review so that is it y'all thank you so much for watching and thank you as always to all of my new subscribers take care bye by the way, this detangler has the same stuff, coconut oil, coconut milk, and I have a little bit of sweet oil. <laughs>